I've been talking a lot about how Donald Trump is trying to undermine and delegitimize this election. And it may seem redundant. It may seem like I'm covering the same thing over and over again when what he's saying, like the rhetoric that he's using, hasn't changed much. But it is really important that we stay vigilant and we see everything that he is doing and saying because we can't afford not to. When democracy is at stake, what little democracy we have left is hanging on by a thread, we cannot allow some wannabe dictator to undermine that. So he basically admitted what we all assumed. He is really hoping that the courts, which he stacked with conservatives, is going to undermine millions of ballots potentially, if in fact they are counted after November 3rd, which they will be. Take a look. Hopefully the few states remaining that want to take a lot of time after November 3rd to count ballots. That won't be allowed by the various courts, because as you know, we're in courts on that. We just had a big victory yesterday in Wisconsin on that matter. So hopefully that won't be happening. Okay. This really is shocking. Even though it's Donald Trump, this is still shocking because he's admitting here that he can only win if it is the case that we invalidate millions of ballots potentially because he's probably expecting that most republicans will vote in person and most democrats will vote by mail and it's going to take more time to count the mail-in ballots so if he can uh, stop the votes from being counted quite literally that would give him an advantage because he knows that he can't win legitimately he has to try to find some way to rat fuck his way to victory and that's his ticket to re-election. So he's just straight up calling on ballots to not be counted. I mean, it's it's shocking. So what does he propose we do with those ballots? Do we throw them in the dumpster? Do we light them on fire? I mean, this is quite literally what they do in authoritarian regimes. It's a scandal and it's national news whenever a country is seen like shredding ballots. That's what he's proposing openly in the United States of America. And think of how preposterous that is. Any ballot not counted by November 3rd doesn't count? That's so arbitrary. This has never been the case. Of course it takes longer to count the votes than November 3rd. The fact that he wants to invalidate millions of votes shows you that he doesn't care about democracy. He just cares about clinging to power. Now, on top of that video, he also tweeted this out. A three-day extension for Pennsylvania is a disaster for our nation and for Pennsylvania itself. The Democrats are trying to steal this election. That's rich. We have to get out and vote in even larger numbers. The red wave is coming. So understand, like, we're no longer talking, you know, hypothetically about what's going to happen if, in fact, he tries to delegitimize this election. He's already doing it. He is in the process of delegitimizing this election. He is telling people anything that is counted after November 3rd should not count and is by definition illegitimate. That's an attempt to steal the election. So no matter what happens, he's already invalidated the results or he's trying to invalidate and delegitimize the results. Like this is so troubling, so problematic. And if you care about democracy, it doesn't matter if you're a Trump voter. You should be consistent here and acknowledge that what he's doing is troubling. We know that if the shoe was on the other foot, they would be calling out Democrats. If Joe Biden said this, that we shouldn't count votes that come in on November 4th, it would be a scandal. They wouldn't shut up about it. But because it's Donald Trump, you're just going to give him a pass? I mean, either you care about democracy or you don't. It doesn't matter which team you're on. So the fact that he keeps saying this... It is shocking. Like, again, Donald Trump, we've all kind of become accustomed to him saying outrageous things, but we can't normalize this. As little as I care about norms, this is one norm that you can't allow him to destroy, the norm of democracy. Because if he gets what he wants and the ballots weren't counted after November 4th and just wherever we were in the tally on November 3rd, that's the result. Like, that's not democracy. That is not democracy so you know keep an eye on everything he says and does because this is all an effort to undermine this election so he can win mike is the worst progressive on youtube please don't subscribe to him or become a patron david dole is so much better trust me folks he's doing a great job he really is okay